Combo-D. In this video, we will show you our different combos for Dylan appearance, the PMP, SPMP, VMP, and SRTF. And we will focus on our SRTF combo because uh, for so many brands of appearance, that only Dynam have this combo SRTF. So there will be many questions about this, um, this definition, what this means. And in our Dynam appearance, uh, we name, we definite this uh, SRTF for smart ready to fly. The wh why why uh, call this uh, combo smart? Uh, because Besides this SRTF, you can see this SPMP also with a smart. It also means a smart PMP. PMP is the basic combo for all the RC airplanes, means plug and play, as you know that. And here we name it smart because uh, we have the we have the stabilizer, ice tone or stabilizer, and uh, here. For the SPMB, we have a ice tone or stabilizer, and the PMB, we don't have it. And uh, SRTF, even though we don't have the in independent stabilizer, but here in our uh, receiver, MSR6SA, in this mini device, we have the six channel six axis gyno stabilizer inside, which is also our uh, ice tone system. So besides, besides the receiver, the transmitter, and uh, in our SRTF, we will have the appearance, besides the appearance, the radio system, and we also have the battery, the charger, the adapter, the ESC, and the motors. And of course, the servers. This is the SRTF. We have all the stuffs you need to make your appearance to fly. And uh, besides this SRTF, for P BMP, we will just uh, take out the battery, charger, adapter, and take out the transmitter with appearance and this uh, servers, ESC, motors, receiver, we got the BMP combo. And for PMP combo, we need to take out the receiver. So we got the PMP combo. And for SPMB combo, we need to add one ice tone or stabilizer. Here we got the SPMB combo. And then I want to focus on our SRTF and uh, tell you the details of our SRTF stuffs. First of all, we need to we need to focus on our transmitter. For SRTF, the default transmitter is uh, our uh, Dechong 6A, which is a six channel transmitter. And also, we have another option, Gavin 6C, which is also a six channel transmitter. The difference is of the wheels is that this one have a LCD screen display and this one he doesn't have it. And besides this uh, difference, for this uh, 6C transmitter, you have the screen so you can set the manuals, parameters on this. So it's very useful for especially beginners you want to do more your all, all, your own settings for especially for our SMSR 6A receiver. Because uh, okay, 
I will show you how to do the settings and uh, the extra function besides the transmitter you will get from our transmitter and our combos. First of all, let me power this device and bind the receiver with our transmitter. We get, uh, we need a ESC here and the battery and we can connect the receiver with the ESC here we need to take care of the wire because they have a straight wire and this green gray color wire is uh, GND clone and this orange color is for signal the the red color in the middle is for VDD and uh, here we got a receiver we need to find the throttle throttle is number three here and we need to keep this gray color G and D wire outside in this way in this direction and we connect it and then we power the ESC on so we can see the the receiver is in fast flash in red color and here we got the button bind here it says bind and we long press it until it turns slow slow down flash so in, in this time we need to hold the transmitter here we got the SSC and we hold this, keep hold it, and power it on, turn it off. Oh, it's in Chinese. And, he, and here we s we can look at our receiver is turns static fresh static color in green. So it is uh, successfully bonded with the transmitter. And first of all, we need to change the language. If you got the, the transmitter that is in trans Chinese language that you cannot understand at all, you can tell us, inquire us, and we can help you how to do the settings. <coughs> okay, let me check out this uh, transmitter. Here we got the uh, we got the channel monitor, all the parameters. Here we can set the reverse set the reverse and set the endpoint sub trim stick curve throttle curve throttle hold mix set several delay and number nine is auto stable set and auto stable set is uh, set in the gyno uh, in dt9 in our bridge dt9 the name is called uh, gyno parameter set and here is the auto stable set so this is the airplane parameter set and then we got here have uh, channel monitors you can see different different channels I have six channels here and then here we got the model set we have a different models memories to store this. Model one, we can store 30 models. And you can here 
name your modern names. You can press the names in uh, alphabets and the numbers. And here we got uh, the apparent types. We have three types, apparents, hurry, and helicopters, multi-copters. Yeah. We back mm, function set, channels, channel set. Uh, in this uh, transmitter, if you need to set the channel set, you need to have a channel wire to connect with the uh, with two transmitter, one with the master, one with the student. Here we got a fail safe time set timer set and this set. And we back here. This is system set. You can set the language, and the, but only two language, Chinese and English. The calibration. And here, stick mode, stick mode, let, let's stick in, mode one, mode two, like that. Key value, key tone, brightness, contracts, right, right off, bad type, and that's the information of the transmit, transmitter. First and here we go to the model parameters and we found the uh, number nine auto stable set here we can set the switch and set the gain a uh, low gain pitch gain yaw gain and lower offset pitch offset mounting and wing here we got a wing you you have Normal wing, and delta wing, and the V tail. So here we set it to normal wing. Mounting is uh, is uh, for the receiver. You mount it face up and face down, left and right. You you need uh, according to your in, in mounting type. You, we can set it here. Uh, normally we set it face up. And, and here we can go to the switch set. Let me enter it. Here we have uh, three, and here you see switch set SB. So, so we, we set it as SB to control these uh, modes. Here have three modes is jello off, normal, and number three is auto recovery. And here we, we can set it one, two, three. And we can check it here. This is uh, number one. It's a uh, normal, a uh, general off, and two. Uh, here, two. See the color change to blue, and this uh, normal, and then change another color, so it is uh, auto recovery mode, and back to general off, this green color. Say it's very easy to set up, and uh, it's not just uh, for beginners. When you think your skill is not so good, and uh, you need to keep the reference stable and safe, writing, you can use this function. And if you don't like it, you think my skill is very good at all, and you can set is set it as the dry off mode, the first one mode, and. And uh, when the wi when the weather is very windy, uh, it's not so good for the airplanes to fly. And you can also set these uh, gyros to make it uh, stable. So it's very useful. And this is our 6C transmitter. And with our MSR 66A. So if you have this uh, receiver, you have a receiver, and you, it means you also have an ice tune stabilizer. Because uh, sometimes you, you, you buy a receiver, you also need to buy the gyro or flight controller or stabilizer. But this one, it is in integrated with this uh, function. And if you have the SPMP, you we can 
we, 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 we give you an extra stabilizer inside here. Here we got uh, the stabilizer of uh, ice tomb series stabilizer, ice tomb O stabilizer, this one. Uh, this one, if you need to do the parameter set, you need to connect with a program card. And here, we have a three-in-one program card. You can connect, connect it with this and uh, have a screen, have uh, buttons, you can set the manuals. It's very easy and you, you, you can uh, read the user manual and you can s set it just as the 6C transmitter. So I think if, if you want to have the setting, it's better you can just buy a 6C and you can set it at all. You don't need to extra program card. And also we have another type of uh, stabilizer that is this uh, Ice Tomb Pro. And also we do this uh, detailed video about this uh, stabilizer. And in this stabilizer, you don't need to buy extra program card. You can set it on this uh, device. It's very many. Here we have uh, two LEDs, uh, facet, and this LED, a, L, L, rather, so in, in this uh, device, you can set it on this uh, device itself. You don't need a uh, extra program card. It's very useful and simple. This is the stabilizer. And uh, also, if you need to the advanced stabilizer, we, you can also try or have a check on our Z3 flight controller. In this D3 uh, flight controller, this one is uh, have this uh, GPS module. You can, this one can have a data bag and uh, have OSD. Uh, OSD, built-in OSD is our FPV. FPV. This one have uh, OSD built-in. And this one, we have uh, more function. And if you have uh, interest, you can check our D3 uh, details on our website. This is uh, this, this three, and the also we have uh, another receiver here. This is SR six A hyphen G. This one also have a GPS with data back, and also here we got the. You can see here, S S means uh, stabilizer, and R means the receiver SR. And uh, he, this one, this one. Okay, let's turn off this uh, battery. This one is uh, MSR double six A means uh, this is a mini, and S means a stabilizer, R means a receiver, and you see this uh, more mini, miniature. This is a six channel, and this is a eight channel. And this one have a GPS module, and uh, have more function inside. Besides the data back, it also have uh, RTH function. And that especially when this uh, SR A6 A heaven G can bind with uh, this uh, our uh, more advanced uh, transmitter, this DT9. So it's more have uh, more function such as the data back, RTH, and uh, the telemetry data for on the screen, and also can set the parameters for ESC and also the stabilizer receiver, these kind of functions. And you can also check uh, other videos about uh, detailed, details video, detailed videos about a DT9 transmitter. Okay, here in this video, let's do a summary. In this video, we talk about our SRTF uh, combos which means uh, is our with our transmitters uh, and our receivers that have uh, gyro inside, stabilization built in inside the, our radio system. We have two, two transmitters to choose from and uh, we have our battery inside 
and uh, our propulsion system inside. So this is our SRTF. Uh, if you are beginners and um, or you don't uh, want to buy, you want to choose uh, this kind of brand of transmitter and this kind of brand of motors, batteries, you, you want to uh, you want to buy them from one manufacturer, one supplier, and also uh, you, you don't need to look look this and look that to do the searching jobs. So you can choose our one-stop RC appearance solutions from uh, Dylan and the Chong. So I hope this video can help you on this the meaning and definition of SRTF. For better let you know about the SRTF, I will open a box. And this is uh, for an example of the Dynam Primal. And I will check all the stuffs inside the uh, uh, Dynam Primal SRTF. I already opened the, the outside box because it's very tight. First of all, in this box, we got the transmitter. And here is a Gavin 6A transmitter. And this box, we open it. We got the charger, battery charger. And we got two wheels, the rubber foam big wheels, which is the new version wheels for Primo and the uh, Dylan DHC2 Beaver. And even though the wheels is updated, but the price is uh, still keep the same. Here is the adapter. Here we got the battery. Battery, uh, transmitter and a receiver. And receiver, you can see it's already mount on the apron. And also with the motors and servers and this apron. So this is a typical combo of SRTF for an Thailand appearance.